In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to pan and zoom across a still image that you superimpose on top of a video. We're going to show you a few seconds of an example and then give you the steps to create that. In the example you just saw, we started out with this footage of chocolate running down chocolate bars. It's a small clip and we placed it on track number one. Now we're going to take the still image of the M&M type candies and drag that down on track two. Then I want to stretch it to equal the duration of the video. My next step is to resize that picture. So we're going to take it down and make it smaller and we'll put it in the lower right corner. I think I need to turn on my uh, TV safe zone. Make sure we're well within that. We'll put it in the lower right corner. And there we go. The next thing I want to do is I want to pan and zoom across this as the chocolate's flowing down behind it. I do that by clicking on the magic wand above the timelines and I choose the magic motion or I can hold the alt key down and press the 2 key. Now the magic motion screen takes up a lot of terrain here so I have to give it a lot of room to work. The easiest thing to do is simply use a preset. I could make it come down vertically, go up vertically, we could go across horizontally, we could zoom. Let's try horizontal right and then I will play that And we see slowly, because the clip is so long now, it creeps across the candies from left to right. Now for a clip this long, I don't like to use this default because it's hardly noticeable at all. It's too slow for me. And I can't change the speed of it just by doing that. So I'm going to go back to my magic motion and go to reset. Let's see if I have better luck with a rotate and zoom. I'll set that one up, give myself a little more room. But you notice I'm already running into a problem because the rotate cuts off the corner of the picture in the default here, and I don't want that to be crooked. So that's not going to work for me. We'll do a reset again. Let's go the inverse of and look at the picture again with a little more real estate and see what happens here. That's not too bad. There is some motion. It's enough that it looks like things are happening, but again I find that to be a little bit too slow. But it's not too bad. That might work. Another thing you might want to do in this case where you be sure you test these out, these options, is put a border around it. So I'll double click on it to get into the PIP Designer. And then in the PIP Designer, I'm going to click down on my Border tool. And I'll pick a border. Uh, let's do a uh, two-color border. And we'll start with something maybe in the orange tone. And we'll click again. And we'll end it with orange, but I'm going to deepen it to almost a brownish color here. And now I have a border. Let's make it a little bit thicker. And then we'll actually move it within our safe zone here. And again, I like the up, up, right, left, and down keys on the keyboard to control the motion best. Click on OK. And now when we go to play that, we have the motion from the magic motion. And we have the slow drip of the chocolate. And we have the slow motion of the candies. So if you would like to uh, have both move at the same time, this is a very simple way to do that. I would actually prefer to do this with a user-defined motion in the Magic Motion tool. We have other tutorials on how to use that. Mm -hmm. 